Rick Now continues his ongoing series of videos on the Rick Van Man channel. Today it's time to catch up with what's happening at the allotment. Well, greetings from this rather dull, dank um, morning, weekday morning day. Um, today, my chitting potatoes arrive. So this is, of course, the compulsory annual chitting potato video <laughs> that I seem to do every year. Um, now, it's been an interesting year with potatoes because last year, because it was such um, uh, an abysmal crop last year. Um, there was actually a note in with the parcel saying that the, the chitting potatoes might not quite be um, up to scratch and are a little bit more delicate this year than they were last year. But as long as you take the appropriate actions to you know, be careful with them, you should be fine. Now, um, this year I actually discovered uh, why we chit potatoes and why you do it in the light. Because at one point I had questions about whether you chip the potatoes in the, in the light or in the dark and apparently you do it in the light simply because um, if you leave them like for example in the bag um, in the dark you know in a cupboard or something they go off seeking you know seeking and searching out uh, the light and what happens is you end up with these huge great shoots and uh, they, they're just useless um, basically what you want is just little tiny green shoots that aren't very big and those are the ones that, um, that you know sort of work the best I think I presume that's why they put them in nets rather than dark bags. Anyway, I have gone for two different types this year. First one is Rocket. Um, this is the first early and uh, these guys, I'm hoping to grow like half of them inside the polytunnel and I'm, I'm planning on getting them in the polytunnel by about the second or third week of February as long as the frosts are gonna let me do that. And uh, hopefully I should then start being able to harvest potatoes from late April onwards. That's the theory, that's that's what I've been looking at. So I'll probably do about half in the polytunnel because last year I did potatoes in the polytunnel in the ground, but what actually happened was I, I ended up with loads and loads of foliage, but hardly any um, actual little spuds. So I'm gonna only do half of these in the polytunnel and I'll do the rest outside. Um, and the other thing I've got is uh, Charlotte's. Now these are like um, quite, quite waxy, uh, potatoes like they're like salad potatoes, but they grow quite large. You know, normally salad potatoes are quite small, but these these um, charlots are supposed to grow a bit larger. Right, I need to get into this bag now. Chitting is pretty simple. Uh, basically, on the potato, you've got sort of two ends. You've got one end which is a kind of a scar where the potato was attached to the plant. Uh, I think that's that there, and then at the other end what you end up with is like lots of little tiny sort of strange lumps, dots. Uh, that's called the rose end and that is uh, where the sprouts are gonna come from. So um, you will basically want the end with the most uh, dots in it, with the most uh, little sprouts in it uh, pointing up. And then obviously anything like an egg tray, these actually came with the, um, with the potatoes, but like things like an egg tray, um, you just put them upright in it so sometimes it's difficult to see but look i don't know if you can see that that is where uh, the potato was attached to the plant and at the other end I've, hopefully you can see that um, there are several uh, little just tiny little um, dots uh, and those are eventually hopefully going to become uh, sprouts Now it's important, especially this year, being um, the, the sea potatoes being of a slightly lower quality than they usually are. Um, it's important this year that you don't um, give them the opportunity to get rotten. So what they say in the instructions is to put them somewhere uh, light and cool. Um, now basically you put them somewhere light, obviously, so that you don't end up with enormous great roots on them where they're trying to seek out the light. Uh, but also somewhere cool, but with air circulation. So um, with the air circulation, that's obviously going to uh, keep them dry and stop them sort of rotting. Now, originally I was going to put them in my conservatory, but in hindsight, we've only got to get a bit of sunshine and uh, the conservatory really heats up. So it's probably not going to be the best place. So what I figured in the end was I'm going to put them on my kitchen windowsill 
because the, the actual window sill itself is pretty cool. It's a north facing window. So it's not gonna get massive amounts of light, but it should, you know, it still gets plenty of light. So I'm hoping that's going to be a good place to put them. And like I say, in about two weeks time, I'm going to come back and uh, hopefully probably take about half of them down to the allotment where um, I will be um, planting them in raised beds, which I'm going to make from paddling pools this year. I've actually got eight paddling pools now uh, that I found. I found them for a fiver each and they're four foot paddling pools, four foot in diameter. And I've also found a supplier of soil and I'm just about to order, or I shall do in about a week's time uh, when I get my van back, but I'll tell you about that in another video. Um, as soon as I get my van back, I'm gonna phone up and order a pallet load of soil. And this soil is going to be uh, 25 kilogram bags of soil that's specially designed to go in uh, raised beds. So hopefully um, that's that should be the majority of my expenditure um, this year, which is literally soil, paddling pools, and obviously seed potatoes and things like that. Um, but obviously I'll catch up uh, in another video with that as and when those things happen. Okay, so that's it for this video. Like I said, I just wanted to uh, lay out my chitting potatoes. And uh, this is like, um, I seem to seem to do a chitting potato every, uh, chitting potato video every year. Um, so this is my latest one. And uh, okay, thanks for watching guys. I will catch up with you in a, um, a video log, which I'm gonna make while I'm here uh, shortly. I'm not sure when that, whether this one I go up first or the video log one I go up first, but it doesn't matter. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching guys. Have a great rest of the day. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.